invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seat. Ah, yes, I thought it was Good evening, sir. This way, please. Oh, my apologies. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? And the statesman, because he's so great, thinks his trade as honest as mine. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. We'll need to find another way up. Like me too, he acts in a double capacity. I already have. Against throat and fall. For it is but fitting that we should protect and encourage seats, since we live by them. So, Black Maul, that sick word of trial, comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring A on. thousand pardons. Oh, my apologies. You may satisfy that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Cake, sir, is found guilty. A lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I told him what it would come to if he did not mend his hand. This is death without reprieve. I may mention a book. Poor Tom Cake. Forty pounds. Let Betty Sly know I'll save her from the transportation. If I can get more by her staying in. Betty has brought more goods into our lot to year than any five of the game. And in truth, it is a pity to lose so good a customer. If none of the gang take her off, she may be the common course of business. Leave her twelve months longer. I love to let women escape. Sportsman always thinks the end of my children's life was the breed of the game depends on. Besides, here the law allows us no reward. There is nothing to be got by the death of women, except our wives. Without dispute, she is a fine woman. It was to her I was obliged for my education. And to say a bold word, she hath trained up more young fellows to the business than the gaming table. Truly built, thy observation is right. We and the surgeons are more beholden to women than all the professions besides. So, Black Maul, that sick word of trial, comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy her that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. A lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I told him what he would come to if he did not mend his hand. This is death. Without reprieve, I may venture to book you. Poor Tom Gag, forty pounds. Let Betty Sly know I'll save her from the transportation. If I can get more by her staying in. Betty has brought more goods into our lot here than any five of the gang. Make haste to use it, boy. And let your friends know what I intend. Well, I love to make them easy one way or another. 
When a gentleman's wife spends penitence, my break is spirit ever after. Besides, certainty gives a man a good air upon his stage, trial, right. and makes him risk another without fear or scruple. But all the way, for it is a pleasure to be the messenger of comfort to friends in affliction. But it is now I time to look about me for a decent execution against next session. I hate a lazy rogue by whom one can get nothing till he's hanged. A register of the gang. Crook fingered Jack. Let me see how much the stock goes to his interest. Jim is really burning up the boards tonight. Two, He's a marvel. Three, four, five gold watches. And seven silver ones. A mighty clean dandy fellow. Sixteen snuff boxes. Five of them true gold. Six dozen of handkerchiefs. Four silver elfin swords. Half a dozen of shirts. Three... Hey, Ethel. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key, 
And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us 